Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to design this JBL landing page in Photoshop. Without having to waste much of your time, let's get started. So, the first thing to do is click on File and make sure it's set to 1920 to 1080 pixels. And make sure it is like you see. Uh, so, I'll just give it a name here. Okay, so, you can just give it for, for me, I'm just going to give it a JBL landing page. Page. Resolution is at 300 RGB, and when you're done, just click on create like this. Okay, right, so I haven't done that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over to my adjustment layer, click on solid color. Right at this point, you don't do mindful of colors, but I'll just go ahead and just choose this deep black, right? And um, I'll double click here. And I'll use the lighter shade you can see you can use my color code right and just click OK so I have a deep one under it yeah like this and I have a lighter shade of the black up right so what I'm going to do is click on solid adjustment layer like this right and I'm going to click on gradient right when it's on gradient you can see um, the nice effect that it's bringing out right from black to the deep black so I'm just going to click on reverse so the lighter one stays on top and click OK if you don't have this current version of Photoshop please go to the telegram group and download it from the group and it's just easy to install so you have this to select the first one and select the other layer like this and press ctrl G on your keyboard right or let's just convert to smart object so right click and convert to smart object like this right either ways works right so i'm going to duplicate this ctrl j to make a duplicate copy of this right you can see i'm going to ctrl t and press flip vertical then i'm going to hold down shift while i bring this inside or you can hold down alt and shift at the same time to bring this inside when you are done position this well and press enter to release the transform control right good so i haven't done this the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to my mask i'm going to apply the mask to the first one select my brush because i want to conceal the edges of this one on top here select the brush and um, make sure the flow is set to i always like using 50 60 and 70 make sure you don't stay on 100 so you don't distort the flow and uh, whatsoever you need to do and also you can change the brush size here right make sure you're working on your mask and when you're working in white mask make sure your foreground color is set to black right it's not erasing because i didn't revert my blend mode to normal so i'm just gonna change it and i'm just gonna rub off the edges here like this right subtly i'm just going to this off like this and when I'm done I'm just um, you can see what I have here now so the effect is not too tense right great I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring in the next element which is this particular one so I'm just gonna drag and drop like this I'm gonna place it here right enter to place right Great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a duplicate copy of this particular headset. So Ctrl J or hold down your Alt key while you drag down like this, or use the Ctrl J command. Either way works perfectly. Ctrl T and I'm going to right click and click on Flip Vertical. I'm going to bring this up. Right. So what I'm trying to achieve here is just um, a reflection effect. Right. to close that gap up i'm just going to hold down the control while i drag this up just a bit like this right you can see how much of a fix that was right so i'm going to create a mask on that and i'm going to press g on my keyboard g for gradient and i'm going to make sure i select this particular one here this one here right so with g selected i'm just going to hold down shift while i go from 
white to black as you can see now make sure you're using the same effect so it's going from white to black so i'm considering all these areas so it feels as though it's a transparent effect just like this right so i'm going to group this at the end of the day and i'm just going to name this headset like this you understand just so that your layers are not disorganized and you don't have it around next thing i'm going to do is go back and i'm going to bring this second element here so i'm just going to slightly position this wall here in place right double click on it and i'm just going to click on this color overlay right make sure you're selecting it i'm just going to reduce opacity like this right and click ok when you're done so if for any reason you're not getting all of this you can always rewind all of this back and follow the steps right so i'm just going to make this smaller here and um yes this is good if you would observe i put it beneath the headset right great you just drag on your layers and just put it beneath that's it if you observe um for the headset um the reds are not that punchy so i'll go to selective color like this and make sure you clip it to the headset alone because you don't want it affecting the other layers so create clipping mask right good so it's affecting just the headset like this okay so what you can just do from this point is to follow my process that i'm actually using so with the selective color i'm just going to steal my black and you can see how i'm adding blacks to it how it becomes punchy i'm going to the reds also and i'm just going to be using this value so you can use my settings also right great you can see how the magenta affects it right so i won't be touching that i won't be touching this also so i'll just set it back to zero and i'm just going to give it more blacks you can see how punchy and how realistic this looks right going to select adjustment layer again but this time i'm going to use here saturation i'm going to hold down alt while i click it and clip it on the existing clip so i'm just going to increase the saturation like this you can see how punchy it is now this is the before and this is the after for the selective you can see how much of a difference this has made so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over to my resource file and bring in this guy here. Alright. So what I'm going to be doing with it with this particular image is just creates um a kind of effect. So go to blow, go shine blow. I'm just going to blow this out like this. Not too intense, something like this. Nice. I'm just going to flip this and i'm just going to position this here when i'm done click enter i'm going to duplicate this that's i'm just going to put this here where i go make it bigger still make it bigger and just so this part alone is the one that you can only you can see all right duplicate this all right ctrl j and move it upwards i'm just going to turn it so this part alone shows right position this well and voila we're good to go and just put this well here like this and then that's all we're good to go okay the next thing i'm going to do is select this top layer right and hold down shift and select this layer here uh no this one headset and press ctrl g and just give this headset like this right you can see how i simplified my layer with just this step you can see this folder houses all of this element right so it's very very um it's recommended that you keep your layers intact so i'm just going to go over my text to and type out some of the things that i'm going to use some of the details for this landing page okay so i'm just going to fast forward that 
so it doesn't take much of our time because I don't plan to make this video too lengthy. Right? So this process is just like what I've done before. So I'm just going to leave this in a speed up mode, just like this. okay guys there you have it so having done that i'll just select this one and um, this one over here right i'm selecting the wrong thing select this four and move it up um i'm just going to group all of these things together this one's right this is the right thing if you are grouping the right thing just bring it up Control shift and um with the arrow key, I'm just gonna group everything like this, right? And just give this web, right? I'm just gonna make this smaller, right? Just like this. So I haven't done this, I'm just going to go over and bring in my next resource file, which is JBL logo, JBL itself. And um, I'm just going to position this nicely here while I make it smaller. Um, I think the top here is fine. Shrink it up just a bit, just a notch. Great. Okay, guys. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle here. So go use your rectangle too. I'm going to change the color to this color I used. So you can use the eyedropper to select and sample from the color like this. Zoom close, make sure, click on the rectangle, then click on these edges to make rounded corners like this. So you can now type in your price for this particular GBL consumer. If you are still thinking if it's the right time for you to subscribe, Please kindly note that this is the right time for you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of the videos that I'll be running out and make sure that as you subscribe you turn up my post notification so you miss any of the videos I'll be dropping anytime from now on. If you can see now I've added the price list to it. Right? So great. Alright guys, there you have it. This is how I designed this landing page in Photoshop. Alright, so if you've not subscribed to my channel, just like I said, please kindly hit the subscribe button and like and turn on post notifications so you get notified 